This airplane was built in 1930 in England. It was used for a couple of years in a flying club uh, in the Andalusian part of Spain. When the Spanish Civil War broke out, this was impressed into the Spanish Air Force, Franco's Air Force, nationalist side. When I first heard about this airplane, it was in pieces in Spain, and if you went to visit the airplane, you were met with a 12-gauge shotgun and escorted off the property. When the gentleman finally passed away, his wife sold it to a gentleman in England who took it to England, restored the airplane. I saw the airplane in England, and a couple of years later, heard that it might be for sale, bought it, went to England, put it in a container, and brought it back here. Yes, these airplanes have two seats, one in front of the other. The idea here is that the pilot always sits in the back seat. Either the passenger or the instructor sits in the front seat. So if you flew the airplane from the front seat with nobody in the back, you would be terribly nose heavy and the airplane wouldn't like it a bit. It was built in 1927 in England. It was used by Ontario Provincial Air Services in Canada for forestry patrol, uh, delivered mail. When they took it out of service, it went through an owner or two, but it ended up being purchased by Warner Brothers Studios. It was used as one of two de Havilland Moth camera planes for the Jimmy Stewart Spirit of St. Louis movie. The technical director for the movie was a gentleman named Bud Gurney. He was Charles Lindbergh's best friend. They took their first ever airplane ride together and remained friends all their lives. So Warner Brothers hired him to be the technical director because he knew the story basically firsthand. At the end of the filming, this airplane was given to Bud Gurney. In the 1960s, Charles Lindbergh came to visit his friend Bud Gurney here at this airport in Santa Paula and they went and took flight in this airplane. So Lindbergh has flown this Gypsy Moth. I purchased it from the family about nine years ago and spent the last five years restoring it. 